Hello and uh, welcome to Upstack America's Oracle EBS Financials Functional Training. My name is Bob and I'm the lead senior consultant. And today we are going to discuss the concept of localization. Today we are going to discuss the concept of localization. Now, um, the way the Oracle application software is written, it's uh, written primarily for the U.S. market. It basically follows the U.S. GAAP standards of uh, financial um, uh, financial reporting. Okay. Now, but although the Oracle application software is written primarily for the U.S. market, a lot of clients they have businesses across different countries. Okay. For example, you may have you may have a client who's who has a business across maybe for example they have a business in Europe okay maybe they have a business in India maybe they have a business in Brazil Japan okay so they have to implement the oracle system for those countries as well as a global implementation okay but because the oracle application software is written primarily for the US market, there are some of the functionalities which are supposed to meet the requirements of the US market. There are some of the functionalities that may not be applicable for the countries where this client or this business has, um, I mean, this client has business, okay? And that's where the concept of localization applies. All right, so basically localization is the process of adapting the Oracle application for specific languages or regions. Okay, so like I said, some countries out there have specific requirements which are usually local statutory or regulatory requirements. Okay, these are basically uh, requirements by the local authorities okay to report in certain ways all right following the local uh, standards rather than the u.s gap standards gap means generally accepted accounting standards practices sorry okay now um so what are the examples of statutory local regulatory requirements that may force a client to go with localization now, one of them could be the type of reporting, okay? You know, some countries, they have different ways of uh, reporting, and any company who have businesses in that country, they have to follow those uh, regulatory reporting uh, ways, okay? Another example is how to deal with sales tax, okay? So, the the way some countries deal with sales taxes it's not the way um, you know the us deals with them okay so countries have different ways of dealing with that and because of that fact as a as a as a client or as a business you may the client may have to uh, apply a localization um, uh, fix in order for them to be able to um, be able to meet the regulatory regulatory requirement as far as the sales tax is concerned all right another example of a statutory or regulatory uh, requirement is uh, something to do with banking requirements or how basically how payment documents are processed okay now all these requirements may be incompatible with the way the software is designed okay i just talked about it i said that the oracle application software is written primarily for the u.s market basically following the u.s gap standards of reporting okay so because of that fact because of the fact that these requirements uh, specific requirements by country may be incompatible with the way the software was originally designed, then it's not very easy to solve some of these problems by any workarounds. Okay? So, in order for a client or a business to resolve some of these uh, incompatibilities, they may have to do a lot of custom customization. Okay? 
for those who are part of the, this uh, Oracle Financial Functional Training Program, you know what customization is. Basically, customization means tweaking the system to work in a, div in a way that you want it to work in case the standard functionalities are not there. All right? So uh, it's not always that, you know, as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a functional consultant, you will be implemented just standard functionalities of Oracle because sometimes depending on the requirements of the client, the standard functionalities of, of the Oracle system may not be there. And therefore, the system has to be customized. Okay, now because of these problems with, um, with specific, country-specific uh, local regulatory requirements or statutory requirements, then the system would have to be customized very highly, a lot, okay? Because customization be means basically finding a workaround in order to get the uh, standard solution for, for, for whatever implementation that you are doing. All right. So in that case, because of that fact, that's why you may have to do to apply a localization patch to your implementation for your client in order to be able to meet that requirement for the client specific country requirements. All right. Now, um, what is when you're talking about localization, we have to understand what is a localization patch. All right, Before, we, we've already discussed this in our previous classes, what is the patch, okay? And also we've talked about the patching process, okay? What needs to be done when a patch is, uh, is applied onto the Oracle uh, application system, okay? So basically, a localization patch is pretty much like any other patch, all right? So Oracle provides that part, and all you need to do is apply the part. The developers, the technical guys, they do the part application. They will apply the part into the system. So basically, Oracle uh, developers, they've produced um, the Oracle application patches for localization. Okay? They are known as localization patches which are basically applied to the, to the Oracle system or the install of the software, okay, in order to provide the required functionality, okay? If things are not working as per the, the, the US GAP standards, because remember we said that the Oracle system is written primarily targeting the US market, if whatever the client's functionalities that the client want, if they, implement, they have a global implementation, whatever the functionality, if, if they are not there, then they have to apply a localization patch, okay, to the system in order to provide the required functionality that they need, okay? Now, now um, Oracle has been working throughout, um, you know, since they, they, um, they released uh, the Oracle uh, EBS, um, EBS product. They've been doing a lot of uh, um, localization patches in order to be able to meet the demand of different uh, countries, okay? Now, uh, things to note as a functional consultant, when you do your requirements gathering for a global implementation of a client, for a client, and you realize there seems to be a lot of customization, then you need to think about checking if there, is, there exists any localization patch for whatever country that you're trying to implement, okay? I think I've just said that uh, uh, earlier, that, um, you know, in order to avoid a, a lot of customizations, if the, the, the standard functionality is not there, in order to avoid the, uh, a lot of customization, they, that's why, uh, You need to apply that. Now, um, you really need to know which countries are highly localized. Okay, some of them uh, that are, have an, a localization patch out there for implementation are Italy, and Italy is in the EMEA region, and then uh, Czech Republic is one, also another one. India, okay, India is big as far as localization is concerned, Brazil in Latin America and Argentina, 
okay? Those countries, if you have, uh, if you go to, uh, to implement a project for a client who has businesses uh, globally, you will probably have to apply localization patches for these, for the implementation of these countries, okay? So that's pretty much it about localization, and I will see you in my next classes. Thank you. Bye-bye.